the way to Heihara on our 12 hour drive, hour one, we're just leaving the house. Wesley, how do you feel? I feel great. I feel really pumped up. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do this thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I, I, need, I need to talk to my mom, you know? I feel like I need a friend. I saw a, a meme today. It, it said, uh, I lost my khakis and it had a picture of khakis. And then it said something like Northerner's version and then it showed a car keys. Oh I lost my khakis. What? <laughs> I got it. I lost my khakis. <laughs> Put it right here. Put it right here. Okay. Hour two. We're about to stop at a gas station. More like two minutes. Drove maybe a quarter of a mile. Yeah, but if we. I'm so exhausted. My legs are so stiff. Oh my god, I have uh... <laughs> <If>, fun. Uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was so close. Hey guys, what's up? Another episode of Park Shark. Last time you saw us, we were in Tampa. It's Friday night and we are headed to Dun Dun Dun, Valdosta, Georgia for the night. We're back in Georgia. We're gonna go to Valdosta, film two episodes over the weekend. So tomorrow we will be in Heihara. It's this big concrete park in the middle of nowhere that is really crap, so I'm really excited. It's basically, it was built by this uh, pool company. They, the, the county paid for it, Lowndes County. It's just really bad. All the transition is either way too steep or way too mellow. All of the concrete is wavy and bumpy and the layout just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So it's gonna be awesome. I'm trying to come up with as much footage as we possibly can in one day. Word. So now we're on the road, on the, on the road. road, on the road. I'll see a little bit more of that. First try hat tap. First try hat tap. <laughs> Throw it in the river! Throw it in the river! We're almost in Hey Hire. We're almost there. Exit 18, here we come. What just happened was they're only taking cash and we don't carry cash. We carry cards. We're not going to talk about well, where are we gonna go? Where are we? By the mall. Uptown girl. Living in an uptown world. Try Gotta get camp. some food Damn. in my belly. It's gonna be so good, but we can't have because Well, we don't have any other option. Oh, I'm about to go to the liquor store. It's the next day, we're on the road, we're on the interstate, about to get on, on the exit for Hey Hara. So, oh, I about hit that car. Yeah, it's literally, it's in the middle of nowhere. Like, the first time I found it, I don't even know how I found it. I just heard that there was a park out here. I went to Hey Hara, there's nothing into the town. There's maybe one stoplight. If you go down this way, there's like this little industrial zone that you can pull down into. It's just down that road, and down at the very end of the road, a baseball field, and then there's a skate park right there. We're here! Let's go check it out. Let's go see what it's all about. Can't even see it. I know, that, that's the hard part. What do you want? What happened? I don't know. I hurt my ass. I, I'm not used to the new setup, I guess, like the board. So I just got it. But I really can't make excuses. Meet me at the bottom of the stairs. Ah, it's going down. It's going down. I see weights for the herd well, across. Watch me, do me. Oh, God. Did not feel good. Why? That's my messed up ankle, too. I don't know, man, because the world is just gray and dark. Seriously, Falcor. She couldn't even stop your board. Can you help me get back up? Tell me a little bit about this bowl. What's up with this bowl? It's a big peanut with no flow, made of concrete with a lot of cracks, and it's bumpyish. And it's too mellow for how wide it is. And then you just come to a stop. What happened? 
happened? Lord came back and hit my heel. Deathgap.com. Can he make the gap? Oh gosh. Yeah, I caught it upside down, and right before I landed, it flipped back, and I landed on it. And right. Hey, Higher Skate Park brings a lot of people from the middle of nowhere that walk around on their roller skates. It's got its pros and it's got its cons. Two barriers that have no coping on. This gritty concrete that people have tried to skate. It's got a six foot quarter pipe that goes all the way around, but it has no coping on it. That's like even. <laughs> when you drop in the six, you've got a rail that goes straight to another barrier, a divider for no reason. Because it's four inches tall and you can't do anything on it. We've got another barrier just to slow you down. There's no wax on it. You can walk up these stairs, drop in a ridiculously steep small quarter pipe like that. About four feet. We've got our runway. It's about nine feet long to an eight stair that goes nowhere. With the non-grindable barriers on each side. You drop in, you come to this side, to the other quarter pipe, and you get a little bump right before you go in to a bowl that has basically no flow to it. The peanut bowl of doom. They got some cool artwork for all the gangsters come to practice their trademark. And we've got a little mini pyramid. This side's not that bad. It's got a little ledge at the inside. It's like going down Mount Rushmore on steroids with a non-grindable barrier. We've got the mini bowl that is 100% vert. As soon as you hit it, you're vert. It's kind of shaped like one of those pumpkin plant things. Yeah, what's it called? People make chimes out of them. A gourd. This is the gourd bowl. And in the gourd bowl, we've got an eight stair with a four and a half foot tall rail. At the end of the rail, you've got this gnarly kink. Boom. If somehow you are a master of the gourd bowl, you come through, dodge the drain, air over the stair set just to dodge another drain. We've got one of the favorite parts of the park, the sixth stair. Probably the best laid out thing in the park with no grindable rail. In the middle, we've got a double D boob. And it's a flat nipple, I'm not gonna lie. On the other side of the boob, we've got two of these things. Why are these here? What is the purpose of this? And there's two of them. There's and there's a rail. In the middle, we've got this rail that has absolutely no runway, an inch and a quarter. We've got the famous sidewalk manual pad. We've got a little two foot quarter all the way around that has an inch gap between the concrete and the coat. When you pull up, you've got a three stair. You've got a manual pad. It's one foot tall, grindable on all four sides. The spine, five inches of flat surface with no coping on either side, up and bank. Finally, we've got a grindable ledge. It has potential, but since it's concrete, you'd only be able to lay more concrete down to fix it. Nobody's got the time or the money for that.
would you like that? Stupid island! Adjust it! when you try to ollie a stair set when you're so tired you can barely function. Alright, let's do it. Look at everything, look at this. Oh man, let me say over. Uh, well, well, well. Concrete is brutal. Uh, I'm worn out, dude. That was fun. If you're a first time skater of that park though, you're just gonna be frustrated. The lines that we tried to do, it was so hard just to figure out what lines we could do, because everything's just in weird places. It's free, and it's got, and it's got lighting at night too, which is cool until like 10 o'clock, I think, so. Um, so I'm ready to just go get a shower. It's a fun park, it's fun. Drang Bane, the main. Lean machine. I basically give it a four out of ten. You can take the best skater and bring him out here, and he's still gonna have a lot of difficulty trying to throw things out. You can take somebody who's new to skating, and it'll be awesome for them because everything's so big. They can just go down the hills. A lot of little kids, a lot of dodging, a lot of dodging ramps because they're in the middle of nowhere. Overall, though, everything was, it was a fun day. Threw out some good stuff. Uh, we're still alive. Time to sleep and that's right, still alive. <laughs> that's it.